Jan Oaksum broke his neck and lost his ability to stand and walk 10 years ago. But here he is standing and walking again for the first time. Scientists created a brain spine bridge that allowed Oaksum to think and have his legs move without the signal needing to go through the damaged part of his spine. Here's how they did it. I'm Dr. Chris. I take your disease request and I report back emerging medical technologies through my newsletter. First, they use magnetoencephalography imaging to identify the portions of the brain that lit up to the intention of wanting to move the lower limbs. They also use magnetic resonance imaging to get a 3D structure of his lower spine. These images were used to predict the optimal locations for these cortical implants and a spine paddle, which were then surgically implanted into his brain and spine. The technology used advanced computational models to read the brain signals, predict the intention to move a joint, as well as the scale and directionality of that movement. It enabled Oskam to achieve a five-fold increase in his hip flexor activity within five minutes of calibration. Oksum gradually controlled the movement of each joint in his legs bilaterally with an accuracy of 74% and with a feedback time as little as one second. I am in full control of what the stimulation does. And shockingly, after a year of using the brain-spine interface, Oaksum was able to walk with crutches even without the device, potentially indicating that the gap in his nervous system may have been partially healed. So in essence, scientists created an external thinking bridge. The cortical implants understood Oaksum's thoughts, relayed it to an external backpack that computated it, which then sent signals to his lower spine to move his legs. Follow for more cool science.